hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm glad you are joining us once again on this episode before we go into what we have for today please i want to beg you to kindly hit the subscription button so that you subscribe to our channel and actually the subscription is free it will actually cost you nothing so please hit the button and help this channel to grow now before we go into what we have for today i want to read a scripture so that it can be more like a guiding light or it be a base upon which what i want to discuss for today so i want to read a scripture from the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 reading from king james version and it says speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your hearts to the lord now recently i came across some series of video from the person of Dusi oyeka and Apostle Ramasai, and they have um, something to say concerning Christians that are listening to secular music and secular content. Uh, I, I want to ask a question before we look into those videos. You know, um, do you think this scripture we just read now is enough reason or is enough ground, scriptural reason, why Christians should dissuade from listening to secular music? And the worst of it is that we will get to see Christians that listen to not just secular music, they also mix it with Christian music. And uh, this is this Yoka, what he has to say that has brought him under fire because of what he said while he was ministering. You know, you are supposed to be full. The Bible says when you come, come with a son. You know what I've noticed? Let me break one very oh, important it's... table. At the end of the year, when we're, you know, people were tagging some of us with the, um, you know, the um, Spotify, Apple, and um, review for the year, and the people they listen to, you will see one secular musician, and then you will see Nathaniel Bassey. As, what is he doing there? And guess you know what baffles me is your confidence and you still share it online i'm like ah, ah. what a confidence what a wow how old will you hear god you, you are living in a confused state somebody is telling you as it is with the world i'm not telling you as it is with god which one do you want to pick you are Nathaniel Bassi does it for me. <laughs> but uh, you just played brother Ashake. <laughs> Should I just stop here? <laughs> and you are bored to share it online. And sometimes I'll go and look at their profile. Say, unapolog unapologetically a child of government. Ah. Uh, so, as I was saying, so do you think, do you think what this Yoyeka is saying is true? Well, for me, I, th I think uh, everything he has mentioned there is quite, uh, uh, is quite commendable. What, I, what I'm just doing here is just to amplify what he has said and we've seen shortly what apostle arame osai has to say concerning people that listen to some kinds of content but then do you think do you think as a christian that is advisable that you mix you have you have a mix of christian music you have a collection of christian music and a collection of secular music come on come on if truly that we are we are of the spirit of God. If true that we are the spirit of God, don't you think there's a need for us to watch the kind of things we feed ourselves, knowing full well that, you know, the Bible speaking, it says, it is not what goes into a man that makes him to sin. It is what comes out of him that pollutes the man. And there's no doubt about it. Whenever you listen to song, you have this effect that goes down deep into your soul. And the truth is that whether you like it or not, you will at one time see yourself re-echoing what you have listened to. So if you're the kind of person that listens to, if you're the kind of person that listens to secular music, at one point or the other, you will see yourself unconsciously, unconsciously singing, singing this secular music. And well, I, I will see talk more 
talk more about the kind of things we allow to come into our system the kind of things we allow into our various gates you know uh, let's quickly listen to what apostle aroma said has to say concerning people that listen to some kinds of comedy i realize that on facebook now we have minor pornography on facebook i don't know where all those this thing came from minor pornography or is it only my own facebook page that that thing is happening it's everywhere don't watch it it looks like comedy but it's a trade it's a trade to pollute your thoughts there's no purity in that arrangement if you keep feeding on that a time will come when you come out and see a sister in church you, you can visualize her naked because there's no purity in your mind satan will like to pull you into thought arenas that doesn't acknowledge your salvation just like those comedies you will think is entertainment satan is saying he doesn't acknowledge that you are saved because if you are saved you will not be there do you understand that i am saved so i cannot think this thought doesn't matter how the comedy is and how many likes people have how many views people have it has gained i am not going to add to the views because i am born again i remember those days when i was still in the service and people want to do deals they don't include me because they know it's, this one is a pastor you know i said yeah and that's that's honorable i am born again i am born again when the house of rep ran an inquiry of our operation hallelujah and many of my colleagues were invited by efcc some were detained people made phone calls if phone calls can cut people's ears their ears will be on the ground so as i was saying earlier on you know one thing we wanted the bible had always admonish us is that guide our art diligently for out of it comes the issues of art now when the bible said you should guide your mind guide your art diligently for out of it comes the issue of life it's because there are a whole lot of things that can be eating our mind eating our thoughts and these things is as a result of what we open our listening ear to what we open our ears to what we open our mind to and whether you like it or not all the things that builds our action are as a result of our thoughts, our thought life, you know. Most time, you take decision because of what you have been able to meditate upon. I, I don't know if it happens to, to some person, but, but for me, I'm very careful with the kind of things I meditate upon. And most time, what I do meditate upon are the things I hear, the things I see, the things I read. So that is why I'm very mindful for me, the kind of things I listen, because eventually they will form the basis upon the things I meditate upon. So if you are the kind of person that wants to make yourself pure and clean from kind of immoral immoral singings immoral thought immoral lifestyle you will definitely guide your heart from receiving content such kind of sexual explicit content such kind of um, um immoral words that that we know that are characterized in what a whole lot of these uh, musicians put out in their lyrics you know whenever you listen to their, to their lyrics you always know that it's it, it is it is one immoral words or the other most of them sing things that are not edifying and this is why um i quite agree with um Dusi Onyeka and also apostle around my side there's a need for us to be mindful of this the kind of things we listen to where just like i said earlier everything i'm just doing is just to re-echo what they are saying because i do believe as a christian we should avoid these kinds of content especially contents that are not edifying contents that doesn't glorify the lord and the spirit of god in us content that does not build us up you know one of the way we can build ourselves up is by speaking to ourselves we speak to ourselves words from the bible so if you if all you speak to yourself is content from the likes of ashake content from the likes of you know so the whole of this 
um, crazy artists. Now, I'm not really against them. Well, they have chosen their own path and the way they decide to express their music. But however, for you, a, for you being a Christian, there is a need for you to check the kind of things uh, you are seeing. So I want you to leave on the comment section. What do you think concerning what Apostle Ramos has said regarding stealing to some, some content that are sexually appealing and also um, the, um, for this one, you're talking about Christian having mix of uh, um, gospel gospel music and the mix of the likes of Ashake. What do you think? Do you think do you think these people are actually making sense? And what they are saying is what we should, you know, encourage our, our young believers and believers to desist from. I want to hear your comments on the comment section.